What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since we've done a battle react with Dax. So today we're going to be showcasing Shadow Electivire. Check it out on screen. These are my IVs in the Ultra League Remix Cup. These were some tough battles to film. I did about two sets, so 10 battles, and I picked out a couple wins, a couple losses, and we're gonna analyze it, what we did well in the wins, and then we're also gonna take a look at the big losses and how I messed up hard. Let's hop it into it, getting into the first battle. So the team we're running is going to be Sylveon, Snorlax, and Shadow Electivire in the back. So we're gonna have a bad lead there into Magnezone, and we're gonna instantly swap into our safe swap which is our Snorlax. A safe swap is pretty much a Pokemon you want that has a couple safe matchups and not a lot of Pokemon can like hard hard counter it. So Snorlax is in here going up against Dragonite. It's a kind of neutral matchup here. Um, the, so we threw the first body slam. We're going to spam the body slams here and they're going to spam the Dragon Claws. I believe since we did get an energy advantage we should win this matchup here. So we're gonna go ahead, spam it out, and they're gonna actually opt to shield. So my thought process here is to lose switch advantage. I don't wanna win switch advantage, but the, but how this team works well is when you lose switch advantage, you're gonna come in with Shadow Electivire and hard farm down, and then you can pretty much usually, if shields are out of the way or if shields aren't out of the way, you can usually sweep the team. So they're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do exactly that. They're gonna Dragon Claw, we're gonna shield whatever they throw, cause Shadow Electivire, anything that touches it, it will disintegrate. Um, as you can see, Dragon Breath already took it all the way down. We have back-to-back -back wild charges. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna throw one wild charge and then I'm gonna insta swap. They're gonna opt to let it go. We're gonna try to snipe the Kingdra, but they're gonna come back into Magnezone. This right here is not a terrible matchup actually. Um, they do have Mirror Shot for super effective, but do you see how much that does? That's a super effective um, move. Mirror Shot is such a bad move that Sylveon can actually tank probably three or two or three of them. We're gonna opt to shield here because we wanna get our Magnezone as low as possible so we can actually throw, um, farm it down and then have um, a move, or we don't even need to farm it down, but we just wanna get as low as possible so we can throw back-to-back -back moves. They're gonna go ahead and throw here. This, I don't believe this will take us out. No, this will not take us out. So we're gonna throw, we're gonna go ahead, get to the Psy Shock. And as you can see here in the one shield, Sylveon actually beats the um, Megazone. We're gonna Insta Swap and I actually almost over tap there. If you, you guys are gonna see the health of my Electivire. I, there I wanted to Insta throw the move, but I actually over tapped twice and you know, they almost killed me with those Dragon Breaths. But that is pretty much the first game there. As you can see from the first game, Shadow Electivire, anything that hits it, you need to shield it. And then also it charges energy quick, but you know, the second another Pokemon gets to a move is dangerous. So you gotta be very um, careful with energy management. So this is the second game here. We're gonna lean into a Jellicent and for some reason they safe swap into Drapion. Drapion's a strong safe swap, um, but I don't think the Jellicent um, Sylveon matchup is that bad. So they're gonna go ahead and safe swap. We're gonna go into our safe swap, which is going to be our Snorlax since um, Shadow Electivire, I think it's too early to bring him in here. Um, but the issue here is our licks are actually not doing super effective damage. So maybe Shadow Electivire would have been a better play here. They're gonna get two uh, multiple crunches. Um, they're trying to get that defense drop. Luckily they do not get it. And then we're gonna go ahead and just spam the body slam. So I believe Drapion wins this matchup because it had such an energy advantage and I took so long to switch, but we're still gonna get it low. So my plan here, again, as always, is to let, is to lose switch. So they're gonna go ahead and crunch us down, but actually wait, Hmm, I changed plan. So I tried to snipe the Drapion with the, I actually don't know what my play was here. They're gonna come with a Skunk Tank. So they have double dark poisons in the back. So they really don't like fairy type Pokemon. Um, well, like, you know, they still take a doll damage, but they don't like fairy type Pokemon. So this, this um, Skunk Tank is gonna click farm us all the way down pretty much. We're gonna let this go. There's no point in shielding here. We're just gonna farm down. And now my plan here is to try to farm down I remember this, I was trying to farm down the Skunk Tank because my Electivire could sweep the Jellicent in the back. So what I wanted to do here is farm it all the way down, but the issue is they're gonna get to another move. Like it's, it's always like that, eh? they always get to a move when they have a sliver of health. So they're gonna get to a move here, we're gonna shield, and then right here they do a, sna a beautiful swap and their Drapion had energy, which they can come in here, and as you can see, even a Crunch um, will pretty much kill us. So we have to go ahead and throw the um, Ice Punch, but now we don't have enough health to take on the Jellicent because the Jellicent can just simply kill us. But if I had thrown the Ice Punch, I'm not even sure what I could have done there to win. I guess I would have thrown back-to-back -back Ice Punch, take out the Drapion, and then I could have maybe handled the Jellicent matchup with, uh, I, I, that was definitely an interesting game there. We're gonna hop into the next one. We're leading with a Gengar lead. So not a great lead. I don't realize that at first, but I realized, oh my God, yeah, Gengar is a poison type. So I tried building up and I guess uh, you could say that was an attempt to catch the Shadow Punch. 
We're gonna come in with our Snorlax, our safe swap, and they're gonna come with a Regice Ice, which is actually a good matchup. Regice Ice is an interesting Pokemon. It has a lot of nuke Pokemon, nuke moves. It has Earthquake and Blizzard, a little bit of lag there, but we can hit it with Super Power for Super effective Damage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to bait here to try to get it lower instead of just throwing a Super Power. They don't fall for the bait, which is all right. Doesn't really matter. They're gonna throw a move. We saw how much the Earthquake did, so we opt to not shield. They actually throw a Blizzard this time, which does a lot more damage, but still, they can't farm us down with lock on or anything like that. So we can go ahead and throw the Super Power now and throw the back to back if they don't shield, but this should take them pretty much out and we can farm them down. So now we're super low. They can't farm us down for a lot of energy and we have a move loaded. So this is a very good situation for us. I actually don't remember if we win this match, but it's a Nidoqueen. Queen. A Shadow Nidoqueen, Queen, absolutely hard counter, Sylveon and um, Electivire, so there's really nothing I can do here. I think I just attempt to come in. I, I should have just backed out at this point, but poison and ground, like there's just like, and it's just not a good matchup for us. Um, that's the problem with Shadow Electivire is, you know, it can be strong in some scenarios, but there's a lot of scenarios where it's like playing with one less Pokemon. If we had a different electric type in, in here, like, um, you know, like a Galvantula or something, I'm not 100% sure, we would have been in a much better scenario because we would have been able to tank a couple hits. So I don't even know what I try to do. I try to get to a Psy Shock, but I get farmed down. So I just, so there you go. A big mistake I think was maybe, um, maybe I should have just stayed in with the Sylveon and, and and tried my best to win because we did, we could hit Gengar with Super Effective, but we're gonna get into the next one. We got an Escav on the lead. Not great because they do resist the, um, we, well, we both resist each other's moves, but we're gonna go back into this matchup here. We've seen it before, the Snorlax versus the Drapion. I'm just gonna fix myself here. Uh, not Drapion, sorry, Dragonite. He actually takes a big damage from um, from Body Slam and they're gonna go ahead and throw. So again, this matchup, what I'm always trying to do here with the Shadow Electivire is I wanna be able to get energy off switch. So I'm gonna lose switch, try to take shield advantage. I think Dan Otto actually taught me this strategy. Dan, if you're watching this, I think Dan ran a team maybe similar to this with Electivire. But I remember, I just remember this team or Shadow Electivire in general works well when you're able to farm something down. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna come in with Shadow Electivire. We're gonna go, look at this thing, it's going crazy. But look how much those Dragon Breaths are doing. I don't think Shadow is really necessary um, for, for Electivire. I think it already hits so hard that I think you can just stick with a regular one. So we're gonna get in the red from just farming it down, but now they're gonna come with Escav. And we could throw back to back um, wild charges and they're gonna shield one because you're gonna see, this is a neutral wild charge is gonna put an Escav into the red. Check this out, bada boom, credit to Zionic. And then we're gonna go ahead, swap into Sylveon because from there we can farm it down even though it's resisted. And in the back, they have a Gyarados. So all we gotta do is hit this thing hard. I think I tried to build up to the Moon Blast, but I think Psy Shocks and, 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 and regular moves would have killed it out. But we, we go ahead and this game is pretty much over. Gyarados can't really do too much against a um, one shield Sylveon that has an energy advantage. So here we go. We're gonna Moon Blast a thing to heaven, um, even though we could have used Psy Shock, but there you go, GG's. As you can see their Electivire, once you farm something down, you're pretty much either taking two shields back or you're nuking something out of the sky, unless it's something that, you know, like a steel ground type is definitely a hard counter to Electivire. We're gonna come with Sylveon into the lead into a Sceptile. I don't know if we win this game here, but this is a decent matchup because we are resisting the Fury Cutters. Now, Sceptile actually saw two of them today. There might be another battle with them, but Sceptile is, is, is surprisingly spammy. And when it has Frenzy Plant, it can hit you hard. So they're gonna try to catch there. I almost threw the Psy Shock, um, but we're gonna, load, we're gonna load the move there on Sylveon and we're gonna come with our Snorlax into the Snorlax Mirror Match. So they have a huge energy advantage, which is super dangerous. But the thing about Snorlax versus Snorlax is they can go one way or another very easy. So I, I thought they were gonna bait off the start, what you always want to do is build up to two superpowers because if you're going to throw two superpowers, you want to throw them back to back because it, well, the first one does drop your defense. So I thought they were going to throw the superpower after that, so I end up shielding. And then we're going to reverse what they did and we're going to bait off the top. So that, that didn't happen. But then at this point, since they threw the superpower, their attack and defense is dropped. So spamming, spamming body slams is a lot safer than just going for the superpower since they can't hit us hard and our defense is not debuffed yet. So. There's no point in us throwing the superpower at this point, and there's no point in shielding either because they're debuffed. They're gonna come with Sceptile. I should have thrown Body Slam there. I don't know why I throw superpower. I think it was a misclick. So we accidentally throw superpower, wasting a couple energy, but they're gonna shield it anyway, and they're gonna get to a move. I think I'm just gonna let the Snorlax go down. Uh, Dragon Claw, actually. So, so they're running Dragon Claw. I'm not sure what they're running, but we're gonna try to farm down, and of course they get the move off right off the top, and I think this is where I made the mistake. I shouldn't have shielded this, or I shouldn't have even attempted to farm down because now 
They have an Ampharos in the back. Um, and my Sylveon is just way too low. I believe they have a shield. Yeah, I think they still have a shield as well. Um, and Electivire. Electivire, the fact that they're able to get all this energy, Electivire just can't handle an Ampharos because Ice Punch won't be enough to take it out. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. But at this point, I've been farmed down by this thing. And they're going to come in with their Snorlax. They're going to swap to try to... Because I was going to try to get a Body Slam to kill that thing. I think I would have gotten to one. I'm not 100 sure. But then at this point, even though I swap into this thing, like, it's so low. But they have Focus Blast and they can just boom us out of the sky. So if I had kept a shield, I think I could have won that game. But in yeah, if I kept a shield, I could have won that game. But I think I just made a mistake there. And the final battle here. I don't know. I don't remember if this is a win or a loss. We're going to lean to a Porygon 2. I believe Porygon 2 is actually XL to run in this league. So this is some... Absolute spice going down. I know Porygon 2 can have Zap Cannon and can boom you out of the sky. So I gotta watch out for that, but I'm just gonna opt to not shield because I think I can even take a Zap Cannon from this range. So I go ahead and not shield. It's try attack. They get the debuff, attack and defense. I believe it's a 50% chance debuff, so pretty common. They're gonna come with Porygon 2. They're gonna soak the move and then we're gonna see another Sceptile. This one's running Bullet Seed, so it's gonna be a lot spammier. And they're going to get to a Leaf Blade, and they're going to throw a Leaf Blade. So I'm going to just start spamming the Body Slams. That's what Snorlax does. You swap him in. He's a pretty boring Pokemon to run. You just swap him in and spam the Body Slams. Um, but he works well. So we're going to go ahead and spam Body Slams. Now, I see them farm up a lot here. So I thought that they were going to try to nuke us with a Frenzy Plant and end up shielding. And I think that's a huge mistake um, because they end up getting a shield there. And then they get to another, um, I guess... I guess two two of them would have taken us out anyway, but I think I should have just lost that matchup. So we just go ahead and throw the body slam. They end up opting to shield two, and I swap right back into the Sylveon. They swap into the Porygon, and then they nuke us. What do they throw? Yeah, they throw Zap Cannon. So yeah, as I see, Zap Cannon hits hard. We're gonna come back into Snorlax. This match is all over the place, I'll be honest. A lot of swaps. They're gonna come back in with Sceptile. We're gonna let this go, because there's no point in shielding at this point, and we have one shield. A Pokemon to farm down. Um, so, so this is our play. I don't know if their Switch Clock was up, but I definitely think they should have swapped if they had the chance. Gengar is going to come in, and we have such an energy advantage. So we're going to come in here. We're going to bait with the Ice Punch, which was not necessary at all because we were at two Wild Charges already. And we have a Shield. We're going to bait. Bait will be successful. That was risky. But now Wild Charge will come in to an Unshielded Gengar. Gengar is super frail, and we hit like a truck. So bada boom. Dead. Dead boy. Bye-bye, Gengar. So that is uh, six battles. I think we won three, lost three. I'm not 100% sure. There were some mistakes made, but also, you know, we played some pretty good plays as well. I also did just pick up this team, you know, today. So I'm testing it out. But Shadow Electivire is definitely a tough Pokemon to run. But if you can run it correctly, there's definitely some, you know, huge booms you can have and some huge satisfying moments and, and, and some wins too. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video, guys. I'm going to be doing more Battle Reacts with Dax over the holiday season since I do have more time and school is over for me. So stay tuned for a lot of Battle Reaction videos because they are fun to do. And I think you guys enjoy them. People have told me they enjoy me just reacting to battles. And we do have a PvP tournament that I'm hosting in my Discord right now. And I will be reacting to battles from that PvP tournament very shortly once the tournament's over. I'm not 100% sure when it'll be over. Thank you for that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below what Pokemon I should feature next in Battle Reacts with Dax. We're going to see you all in the next one, guys. Follow up on tips, everyone. Peace.